This is episode 56 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, September 27th, 2021. In today's show, Chris, Charlie, and Steve try four craft beers from Great Notion Brewery in Portland, Oregon. A cherry sour and three different styles of New England IPAs. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. We're getting the band back together. It's back together. <laughs> we got tech guy, Steve. Hello, hello, hello. We're all back together after our uh, little hiatus. And in a better recording place than last time. We apologize for the There we are. We're the word, the back. Sounds. Were you guys at the local uh, street fair or what? No, the air conditioning. Yeah, it was... It was hot. It, it was, was really hot out, out here. Dog next door just barks all the time. So Man, that's it awesome. Anyway. It was good though. It was, uh, um, it was good. I thought it was. Uh, it worked out fine. The beer was great. Um, we're glad you're back with us. Yep. You were on the road. Yes, we tried, I was. We tried to patch in, but I know it didn't technology work. Technology stuff. I didn't couldn't work. get far enough away from my car mm. with that, and that's what screwed me up. So that's all right. Worked hey, out good. So today, guys, we got a couple of beers. Uh, I, I recently went on a trip to uh, um, to Great Notion to the Pacific Northwest, Portland, Portland, Portland. and uh, so we we brought some uh, some Great Notion back. They're known for their hazy IPAs, culinary inspired sours, and stouts. They already. like to keep beer fun. They Ooh. say. Did you get any voodoo donuts? I didn't. I didn't. I was actually staying in uh, the north oh, side. Yeah. I was staying in Vancouver. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but it, gosh, that, that food scene there is phenomenal. I was super excited to go, um, the, the, the day I landed, this was the first trip that I made was, uh, straight to the, I met a coworker of mine straight over to, uh, uh, to great notion. Uh, and it's not a bad gig. No, they, they had some phenomenal beers on tap. I, I was able to, uh, um, I brought a case of, of beer back. Wow. The, uh, just a couple of four packs. You're my hero. Baked cherry, huh? Yeah, so this is uh, the the baked cherry. So it's burst in with uh, mosaic hops, a touch of honey. Uh, actually, I take that back. We're uh, that's the wrong beer. Oh, it's terrible! Wow. So we got it's a uh, yeah one of their tart ales with rotating fruits. Oh. It's baked up with cherry, cinnamon, vanilla. Um, yeah, and milk they, uh, sugar. It does say milk sugar. It's in little print below it. Snuck it in on me. It can taste. I think a little. Uh, well, cinnamon. That's a pretty decent, tasty. That's a tasty little beer. I'm, wow. I like it. Yeah. And I'm regularly not a cinnamon guy, so. Mm-hmm. Not a lot of cinnamon. But no, I don't think. Cherry, just cherries. a little. Cherry's great. Oh. Certainly a lot, a lot more cherry yeah, than there. you put cherries in stuff, I'm good. I'm yeah. really good when you put cherries. In. Got the little cherry pie on the, the can art. Yeah, they got great can art, too. So what did you guys, did you have fun while I was away? Did yeah, it was... You know, we, we did a couple of shows. We did a couple of shows back to back. We had a couple of special guest hosts. It took uh, two people to fill uh, your seat. Yeah, because uh, I got a big seat. <laughs> but it was uh, it was good. We we had some good beers. Um, no, it was great. It was fun. I, yeah, I, lot, I, a lot of vacation. Yeah, a lot of vacation. We were all we were all all over the country. Right? Yeah, spread out. Yeah, but we're back. Back in business. So what do you guys think of this? So this the is uh, great. This is really good. It is pretty tasty, huh? I, I certainly like the. Uh, um, I'm a big fan of cherries. Um, that cherry on that uh, that that tart ale. This oh, is great. This is the 27th show or 27th of September show, right? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Happy birthday to my beautiful wife. It's her birthday. Seventeen. <laughs> no, I think she's 25. Pretty sure she's 25. Yeah. Well, happy birthday to Janet. Yep. Wow, that's really good. That is great. Yes, it's tart, not overly sweet. Uh, You know, pours kind of a watermelon-y color. Mm -hmm. No, that's good. Do they have this on tap? They they did have, they had a bunch of beers on tap. They actually do, um, they have a really cool app. Anytime you, I didn't check in or anything, but they have like a, they do their own app that you order your beer through. Oh, um, when you're there, when you're there, and oh, then they, nice. you, yeah. So you can like to your beer to go, or like if you wanna, if you wanna order your beer right now, you would you would order it on this app. Mm-hmm. Like in starting, I think October first, so the first week of October, um, thereabouts, you'll be able to ship Great Notion in the state of California. 
they put a distribution wow. center in Sacramento. Uh-huh. So we'll now be able to get like boxes shipped to us. That's uh, here. nice. Nice. Um, Cause there'll be some that we're going to want, but yeah, they have like right now they have, like if you go on their, their, uh, their app, there's probably 20 beers that you could order. Hmm. Right. And of those beers, like we'll see like three or four of them in San Diego, right. like at <laughs> times, like right. one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, or do you think we're just going to get their, their everyday beers, not their special releases or anything? 38, 12, 16. There's 31 beers on there. I take that back. So 31 beers yeah. that you could order on their website. So you could get four packs of that, have it shipped down here. But so there's no way. Three of those. No, well, no. So like we normally get like whatever it is, you know, like the the juice box, like that juice box has been around forever, right? That was one of their old cores, mm-hmm. you know. So like I've never seen we're out of dynamite or up against ourselves down here, you know. No. Um, or like uh, you know, super baked, like you've seen that uh, super invaders, well, like space monster. invaders. Right. Yeah, that type yeah. of stuff. But but a lot of their other stuff, we just don't see down here, yeah. you know? So the smaller batch stuff, so. Keep the good stuff to themselves. Yeah, so now we'll be able to get it. Like this uh, this dry hopped IPA with Nelson, Simcoe, and Citra, perfect. Send Sounds it on down. Yeah. Great. So we'll soon take, enough. We'll take a case of that. So back to that. That was a winner right there. I'm a fan. So you want to hear about some of the breweries that I uh, clipped while I was on my trip? Let's do it. Uh, Kettle House. Absolutely great beers. Those things were, I mean, every one we tasted was really, really good. And uh, I brought a couple of them home because, uh, you know, you want to drink them when you got them. So, and then uh, College Street Brewery was another place that, um, that was that blueberry one I gave you. I thought that was pretty doggone good for a wheat beer. And uh, that what was the name of that one? College Street. And what was the first one? Uh, Kettle House. And then um, Verboten, which was in uh, Loveland, Colorado, was pretty excellent. I mean, they had a couple of really tasty beers. Uh, Jeremy and I jumped into uh, the Stealthies, the Stealth Haze. Uh, They had another Hazy, and then uh, the Lager. Or was it a, I think it was a Pilsner. Were really good, and they had everything pretty much available that I wanted out of their uh, cooler. So that was pretty fun. But uh, other than that, I mean, oh, Jeremy probably has his list of who he thought was better, and uh, I'll talk to him and get back to you on it. But uh, there were some there were some great beers along the way. So three thousand miles of off roading make a man thirsty. Yeah, you guys stopped at a few breweries, huh? Yeah. And uh, we were at, uh, where were we? We were at, uh, oh, in Wyoming when we stopped at the Bird, believe it or not, and King Sue on tap. It was fantastic. You're pretty excited about that. Oh, right? it, was, it was absolutely magical. Uh, I was putting those away while uh, Mikey was throwing down the margaritas. But, uh, gosh, what a fun time that was. Anyways, we're into the next one, Ripe. So, Ripe, this uh, this beer right here, Great Notion Ripe, this is another uh, another beer that's been around for a while. This can is actually the, the collab can with the Portland Trailblazers they, oh, they released while we were good. up there. This year they have a uh, collaboration with the, the Portland Trailblazers. That's the the beer they'll be, uh, I guess that's their, their Team go-to beer. beer. I, um, you know what? I'm gonna say, hey, good choice, guys. Yeah. So this is a, uh, this is brewed exclusively with Citra hops. Ripe brings a, uh, a lot of juicy haze to Portland. They say this. Uh, it's an award-winning IPA. It's loaded with tropical notes of mango and papaya. The smell is like a vanilla. Wow, it is. It's super smelly. I love it. That is a great beer, right there. Shockingly great. I'll take care oh. of the rest of that. Wow. I am not afraid. Mm. Light on the palate to start, but then oh, yeah. it's got that really, really good say? hop. Just says IPA. That's weird. Yeah, I think on the side, on the, the back side. Because it looks really like nothing. a hazy. There's really nothing. Is yeah, for it? sure. Yeah, no, it's it's certainly a little um, little hazy, like that New England, right? Like the, um, certainly but the hazy, but there's just no bitterness. It's, got it's all that citra It's hops. got like that citra bang at the end that's mm-hmm. awesome that's yeah. a really solid uh I could do really this solid IP. quite I could, often i here. could do that yeah quite often 
That's for sure. That's pretty legit. I'm I'm happily surprised. And then they got the little skeleton guy running the court there with the ball. That's great. You can see that. That's pretty yeah. cool. I just love that Citra hops. Like when it's when it's done well. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That you cannot beat that. I don't think I really don't think well, Nelson's pretty doggone good too, but Citra has that just the bouquet is crazy good. Yeah. No, for sure. And it definitely tastes like a little, uh, I mean, it's just done really, really mm. well. It's super juicy. It's not heavy. A little vanilla taste in there, kind of. Yeah. Got a little QR code here for the app, so I'll load that up into the photos. Oh, there you so go. If you guys want to download the app from Great Notion, just go to our podcraft.com website. First of October, you're going to want to do that. That's going to be a go-to right there. Yeah. What a great idea. You can order a case of that, one four pack of each thing. Right. Oh, you're yeah. going to be happy. No, they're, uh, yeah. And Quite happy. Gosh, yeah. No, the shipping, like California ship, shipping a beer here is so, like, so expensive. efficient. Like, you know, a lot of times with It's the, expensive, though. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And recently I've been kind of getting away from ordering beer. Like, there's been some really good uh, Humble Sea beers that I wanted to order, but I didn't want to pay, like, the... The shipping charge because you gotta like so you gotta go down to bottle craft you gotta get like a case right to like make it worthwhile because like a case is like 23 dollars in shipping so you're adding like a dollar per can yeah mm. you know so dang that uh, that adds up you get the discount for being a member so it cuts off some of that but they um they just had a query like they 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 asked members what what would make the membership more enticing and, and one of the the top answers was like free shipping right yeah <laughs> you know, like if you could all of a sudden get that beer yeah. Like, I wouldn't even want a discount. Yeah. Like, if yeah. I could just get, like, like you can keep my 10% discount. Just give me, like, the free shipping. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Might work out. Maybe. In the end, yeah. I mean, if they can find somebody to do it a little cheaper, that might be the way. But I don't think they're looking to find somebody a little cheaper. No, it's... Maybe like, on I, their end, but... Yeah, I mean, if no, it's... it's costing the customer, they're... I'm sure they're customer-friendly, but, you know, there's got to be a point where, it, you know, where it all breaks. I like it. No, that's, that's uh, so pretty, far uh, favorite. Pretty tasty. So far favorite. This one right here. Mm-hmm. I'm, um, I mean, I'm shocked that the these uh, athletes want to drink this, anyways. I mean, <laughs> this is legit beer. I, I think who wants to drink it is the yeah, the people in the, the guys stands. like me in the stands. Yeah. Well, that would be great. Or the uh, owner's box. Right. It's like why if it we, doesn't cost ten dollars a why, twelve ounce beer. Why are we drinking Budweiser? Yeah, I wonder, you know, like I'm always I'm always intrigued when you get to like other cities and how much beer costs cuz like they, you know, I was I was thinking when I was in the the Portland airport, like I had a, I had an hour or something, an hour and a half like on my flight back. So I was just kind of walking around and there's a lot of really cool like uh Portland's got a great food scene like the um but the but at the airport they had all, they had like the Made in Portland store yeah, yeah. and then you could you could go in the store and then they had like um you could buy either cold beers Right, that were like cans and sixteen ounce cans. The majority of these were like between two and two dollars and fifty cents for like a twelve to sixteen ounce can. Wow! Right, that was cold. So I'm like, dang! Like I could instead of paying eighteen dollars for that Goose Island IPA at that restaurant over there, like I could <laughs> sit in that corner over there and drink like a couple of these IPAs for four bucks. Wow! Right? Like they're cold. All right. I didn't do it because I wasn't. I wasn't feeling like drinking any beer. You weren't f- frugal at that point. Well, exactly, because mm-hmm. usually, like, I, I always want to have a beer at the airport, and then, like, I'm like, do I want a four pack when I get where I'm going, or like 14 ounces of beer now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like that two bucks of beer, I'm yeah. like, holy wow, that's, that's a great really deal. That's a great deal. I might have drank deal. those. Yeah, like it was all. Um, it wasn't. They didn't have a like great note. They had a lot of, there's a lot of breweries in yeah. Oregon, right? So really? Was, yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, wow, crazy surprise. amount of breweries you'd never heard of, right? But And a lot of them are really good, too. I'm sure they were. I'm not sure, but mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure. Allegedly. We're going three. All right. What do you got there, Charlie? This is uh, Double Dry Hop Plump. It's an IPA also. It's a little, a little hazy looking. A little bit. So they, uh. So this is bursting at the seams with pungent aroma of uh, pungent aroma of pineapple, ap- uh, orange sorbet, mango. <laughs> I stuck my uh, nose. This IPA in. was uh, plumped up with double dry hop of citra and mosaic hops. Smells good. Back to it. Back to those citra. 
once again that hazy IPA that they uh, they they uh, wow push out so well. Is Super this, impressed. Is this a squirrel on here? Yeah. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. I, he's gotten he's gotten a lot of hops in him. He's got plump. plump. I'm just. I think the other one was a little tastier, but this is this is pretty legit too. It's all right. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised by their because uh, I haven't had a lot of their IPAs. I'm usually Ooh. drinking their fruity stuff, you know. Yeah. Or their stout, but uh, gosh, that's really good. Super surprised about how good these are. I mean, they're better than I imagined. I mean, I like a I like mm. a good beer. I like this one a lot. He likes it a lot. Plump. Double dry hop. You can tell the double dry hops. Mm-hmm. They threw it in heavy and hard. Mm-hmm. Dumped bushel batches full. Let's see what Chris thinks. Plump he's, up he's, the jams. He's a little slow. I am a, I'm a little uh, in the back end of it here. Charlie? Sure. A little extra for you in there. Yeah, thank you. Definitely oh, smell those, yeah. those hops mm-hmm. on my nose, right? Yeah. I smelled them so much they went it's up. Pillowy soft. That, there's not mm-hmm. a bitter one yet. Man. I really That's like crazy. that combination. Mm-hmm. I, I might like that plump more than uh, you just think? The, the combination of the hop spice, just the straight citra. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to go with the citra. A big citra guy. I like this, but I think I like the citra better. Yeah, uh-huh. This one's really. We're still waiting for the hops. return of the uh, uh, Josh Payne citra. <laughs> Are there any more left? Maybe he'll uh, maybe he'll come up with a uh, couple of cans or bottles for us. Maybe we should do a um, consignment. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get the podcast Citra going. There we go. We'll buy all the ingredients for him. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I think you and we'll to... double it. You know what we'll do? We'll double dry hop that Citra. You might need to. Uh... The only thing I think he'd need to do double is clean that brewing. <laughs> it's been a minute. Since he's, he's a little uh, dust on the bottle. He's huh? Fired it up. <laughs> mm. You should do a practice round. Gosh, mm. he's a great. He's a really good brewer, yeah, though. Yeah. I agree. No, that's a, that's a really good beer. Wow. This is this is it's growing on me now. Yeah, I mean, it's almost a toss up now. Taking mm. a couple more drinks. Starting to uh, pillowy soft, super easy to drink. Not too uh, no bitterness at all. No, I mean, it's got up. like a you've got the double dry hop taste at the end, which is really really nice and mild. But it just sets back there; It doesn't really spike. You know, I like that. Yeah. So this is uh, you know seven percent uh, New England style. Seven percent. I did not 7%. see that. Seven percenter. Oh my goodness! That'll That'll get the ball rolling. No, it's um, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of their IPAs. I was uh, I, I went up there. I got I got a couple of four packs of their like their tart ales. I got the baked, and I got one other style of that, and then I got IPAs, and then a four pack of like their pills. And they're just they're like straight pills. And they're so good. Good stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm a huge fan of pilsners right about now. Yeah, I like a pilsner in this heat. Yeah, yeah heck yeah. right. Like 110 no. degrees or whatever it is. I don't We're know if it's that hot. Getting an Oktoberfest, too. Yeah. Well, we, uh, on the trail, we were uh, throwing back some some lighties. Let's put it that way. You know, mostly loggers and pale, or pilsners. So we weren't hitting anything hard till we got to camp, you know. so And it was just like, you know, one, you know, in an hour or two, you know, and then we'll stop and yeah. mm-hmm. have lunch and... Might have one in between then, but may not. Just drink water or something. But we were hydrating properly mm-hmm. either way. There it you was, go. Some days are really, really warm. So we are up to 10,000 plus. Too, right? Yeah, yeah 10,000 plus. Got to be careful. Then. I, found, uh, I found arrowheads. Hmm. I'm standing there talking to Jeremy and these two guys that were up on top of this hill. And uh, I look down and there's a. There's a broken arrowhead right at my feet. I was like, what the? So now I'm looking around for him, you know, and I found a, another one, too. That was some, It's probably some kid, some teenager working on it, you know. Mm-hmm. It's Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. A real, real old guy that couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> but it was pretty interesting. I was, I was quite impressed with it. I like it. 
So one of the things I tried was that Stone Orange Scream <coughs> Hazy IPA. That was yeah. that limited edition. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep. How yeah. was it? It was really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. I drank your your your, you your, your you copy. Yeah. What's, uh, what's every day? Plan? I kept going into the fridge, and I'm like, I there, can't save this beer. <laughs> What's their plan with those? How long are they, uh, or what's the... I have not, I, my, my, my original plan was for me to drive by today on the way home from work and see if they still had it. Yeah. But I ran out of time. So I hope Stone tomorrow... Stone Hazy? So, yeah, it's the Orange Scream. So yeah. they're, they're doing some limited releases. So. Cool. So I was going to drive by tomorrow on the way, way home and see if they still have it. There you go. So... Charlie, what was the best beer you had uh, in, your, in your travels? Just one. What do you got? <sighs> I'm going to say the best one was, um, I'm going to say the Kettle House New England style. It was really, really mm. good. Super refreshing. You know, perfect combination of hops. It was just delicious. It was really good. I mean, there were some in there. Uh, I, I threw a, uh, a North Park beer in there for Jeremy. It was like a 10% hazy. And I'm like, you know, we had a long, long day one day, and I said, "Hey, threw him that." I said, "That's your, that's your prize for uh, sticking out so mm -hmm. long on the trail there." You know? And you guys uh, were breaking down. Uh, Jeremy had some some issues, yeah, some technical uh, difficulties. Well, he broke a, a CV axle, and then uh, he had an extra one. So we, you know, we, I say, he popped <laughs> it back on. I watched him and held his coffee, <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> Then uh, he broke another one, and we were on the trail, and we just got the, he drugged me through this uh, washed out road. We went to a closed road. It's I mean we we went through another one, and it wasn't closed. We got down to the point where it should have been closed, and it was perfectly fine. They had fixed the they had repaired the problem, so we thought we'd do this on the second one we ran into. And we get down there, and this one is actually washed out, but not washed out enough for us not to give it an attempt <laughs> to get over. And uh, I, I honestly thought we both could do it, and uh, fairly simply, actually. And um, Jeremy did. He got over pretty quick. And then I went over, and I took a, a line that I thought was going to be good, and then, you know, I changed that line a little bit, and it kind of got me hung up on a rock. So it was... Uh, Unfortunate, but I got stuck up there. And anyways, I, I just got to the point where I just told Jeremy, just put the strap on me and yank me off this rock. I don't care, you know. I got all the protection underneath and everything. So, boom, he hits it once. Boom, he hits it twice. The third time, he just yanked me over, basically. It was, you know, pulled my bumper off a little bit. <laughs> but uh, just it just slipped on the bolts mm. and everything. So, it was no big deal. But got over, and then we were going down the road. Or the trail, which the, this this section of the trail was really really bumpy and aggressive, and we get about a mile and a half or two miles down the trail, and his other CV axle breaks. So we're hung up there. We drive two hours into town, run into like numerous lock gates, <laughs> so we couldn't get out onto the street, you know. And you know the street is there, and we're behind a lock gate. You know, that's it. That's all we need to do is get on that street and we can go mm. get a part and be back here and fix it. Well, we came up to this one. I'm like, Jeremy, pull the top off of that, that fence post. It's just like one of those slide on tops. Mm -hmm. And then slide the bob wire off and then slide the chain over it and open the gate and I'll drive through. So he did and boom, I drive through and he mm -hmm. puts, puts it all together. back together. Right. Didn't, it didn't even look like anybody ever opened it, you know. He's ready. Chris ready. is ready. Look mm. at, he's already done, man. Mm -hmm. Sucking him down. We're on uh, JB DIPA. This is the last, a but certainly not double least. IPA with honey. Mm. Does it say it has honey in it? Yes. Okay. Well, so Juice Box was one of, uh, um, so JB stands for Juice Box, which was one of my first, uh, first beers I think I'd had. Uh, from uh, from Great Notion, but this is uh, a mosaic hopped with a touch of honey, like Charlie pointed out. Uh, JB has aromas of peach, mango, passion fruit, creamy smooth mouthfeel, mellow bitterness. Watch out, the big brother of Juice Junior, which was uh, <laughs> smaller one, is dangerously uh, drinkable. They they say. 
What's the uh, content on this one? This one comes in at 8.2%. That's why they said the watch out. The, um, you know, so this juice box, like my favorite, uh, I got this um, years ago on like April 1st. I saw this release that was like, juice box is, is being really, or, you know, like uh, it was something like, like child protective agency stops juice box from being released in juice boxes. Right? <laughs> so I had sent it to Little a buddy of mine. Little kids are like, drinking. He was like, kind of lost his mind about like he's like, this has gone too far. You know, it's like a great like April Fools' because <laughs> great. It's like April mm, Fools. That's awesome. Right. Looks like a little caretaker guy. <laughs> what is it drinking on his ju- juice box? Caretaker. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Undertaker. For, for uh, yeah, Undertaker. Yeah. Caretaker for, uh, what is it, uh, the Artful Dodger. Yeah. If you don't eat your meat, yeah, can't have your pudding. That's hey, crazy. so the best beer I had all week. What was it? Uh, Trapdoor. Uh, there, there's this brewery um, in when I was up in, I uh, had a lot of really good beers at, um, they had some, some stouts on tap at Great Notion that were really, really good. Um, but, uh, me and a buddy of mine had dinner. We went to this little brewery and he's like, Hey, these guys have the best hazy IPAs in Vancouver, Washington, little brewery called trap door. Um, they had, they, they had some, uh, they had a couple of really good IPAs on tap. Um, but the, I think my favorite, I'm a big fan of like fresh hops, you know, it's fresh hop season. Mm-hmm. So they had their, their glowed up IPA, which is a, you know, it's a, um, it's a flagship hazy IPA. Uh, you know, it's, it's packed full with Citra, uh, Simcoe and Amarillo. This was their fresh hop version. Mm. So it was like uh, fresh hopped. Wow. I think I actually brought a can for you, Steve. Uh, super tasty. Um, man, I was, I was super excited. Like that, you know, on draft was probably the, the best beer that I'd had. So you're in Washington too. It's right on the border. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So the way that works out is if you like, uh, if you want to, um, not pay taxes, you live on the other side of the bridge, <laughs> you know, and then you don't pay like. Like, I have like three coworkers tech. that claim they work in uh, Portland, and I'm like, "Hey, where do you live?" They're like, "Oh, Vancouver." You know, <laughs> like, "Oh, like Salmon Creek." You know, it's all like like Vancouver and North. They're like, "No, it's 20 minutes." And then you're like, "I thought we were super far away, and it's like 20 minutes to the airport." You know, best of both worlds. So yeah, like, yeah, the airport's right, you know, like mm-hmm. on the water on the yeah. Columbia River yeah, yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and then they're just right across it. It must be hard to land in that river. No, they're good with seaplanes. Oh. You can see all of them. <laughs> a couple of albatross out there, huh? <laughs> I like it. No, this is super tasty. It's a little hoppier and a little more bitter than the other two. Yeah, I think that's Slightly. certainly. Not a whole lot. It is It's kind of sweet. It is a little sweet. That honey. honey, I think, right? The uh, I like that. I like the mosaic hops. Uh, you know, but it is sweet with that honey in there. It's Almost, tasty though. It's at the end for me that sweetness it gets sharp. Yeah, but good. Yeah, no, that's a tasty beer. I, I would have to, uh, you know, if I was to, uh, well, I mean, I guess we had four beers, right? We had the baked, we had the DDH plump, we had the uh, the juice box, uh, right. double IPA, and then the ripe. Yeah, Charlie, what was your favorite? I'm gonna have to stick with that ripe. I'm. Thoroughly impressed. That and the uh, baked, yeah. That and the baked, yeah, yeah. That's that's it. No, wait. You know what? No, it's the double dry hop plump is what it was. One, two. There's my order. All right. Ripe, plump, baked. How about you, Steve? Um, the plump. That was I your know, favorite. Yeah, yeah, and I like the baked too because of yeah cherries. Yeah, I, I thought that was really yeah, that was done really well. I'm gonna go with the DDH plump as well as far as my favorite. Um, I think it was. Uh, I, I I think I like that hop mixture a little little bit more. That ripe was phenomenal. Yeah. I really liked the bake. I would have liked the bake maybe a little bit thicker. Um, you know, I felt it was a little bit little bit thin compared to a lot of the the, mm-hmm. the sour tart ales that we that we drink. To say the least, these beers were absolutely out of the, the same yeah. brewery. These are all different. The two uh, IPAs were similar, but still quite a bit far apart in mm-hmm. taste. Yep. So. Oh, great beers. Yeah. Awesome. No, yeah, definitely a great, uh, great location. And, uh, a lot of beers to be shipped. Now well, you can get them here in California. It's a great notion there to bring is. these beers and drink them. Well, there it is. 
That's, cool. uh, I'm your host, Chris, and uh, we got uh, Charlie and Steve, and uh, signing off till another week. Cheers. 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 Ooh, we got Steve clicking now. I like it. Ding. Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only. And compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go. Oh, oh.